Hello, testing, one, two. Hello, William. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How are you? Fine, teacher. Good, good. How, how, how are you doing in the, in the platform? Very well. You're almost finished? ¿Por dónde va? No, teacher. 4.6, tengo dificultades en la 6, 7, 8. Ok. Eh, eh, ¿Necesitas ayuda? Please. Eh, ¿cuál, ¿Cuál era? 4.6, literal, los números 6, 7, 8, 9. De 7, 6 al, al 8. Seis al, al ocho, algo así. Pregunta de seis al ocho. Ok. Yes. Ya lo vamos a ver. Marco, how are you? Hello, Marco. Hey, I'm fine. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Ok, eh, le vamos a brindar ayuda aquí a, a William. William, okay. um, we are in uh, section four. You, you have a question for section 4.6. Section four. Four point six. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, let's look at that. Uh, four point six, William. Uh, let me show the answers here. Okay, you need help with number six. Here, tomarle una foto. Can you take a picture? O no puedes ahorita, como que estás usando el teléfono. Yes, teacher, dígame. screenshot. No, no, dígame. No, eh, dice Verónica si puedo mandar un screenshot. Let me, let me take a, a, a picture here. You need help with, uh, with number six, right? Six. Para abajo. Ok, Aquí, ahí está la respuesta al lado. Do you see it right here, William? Ahí está la respuesta. Eh? Eh, y ahí puede ver abajo. Ok, so let me show you. Ok, read it. Leela. Y ahorita. Para que. No, ahorita no. Pues sí, lo puedes hacer después, pero te digo, leela para que puedas no solamente copiar la respuesta, sino que también entiendas por qué, por qué es así, ¿verdad? Okay, so uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening. We have good evening. We have uh, only two more classes left, right? And uh, uh, hopefully you can finish the platform for Friday, right? Dijeron ahí mandaron un correo. No sé si lo vieron un mensaje en WhatsApp que el viernes es el último día. Yeah. Yes. Ok, el viernes es el último día para terminar todas las secciones y el examen final. Ok, so uh, William, uh, si necesitas ayuda, por favor decime. Yo qu quiero que termine, ¿verdad? Tiempo. Ok, Thanks very you. good. <clears throat> very good. Let me, let me share my computer with you. Uh, let me see. I have, a, I have here a, a lesson. What I want to do today, if you see the lesson that we have, is in section five, right? Suponiendo de que están ahí. In section five, we um, saw present perfect, right? Yes. And we have been studying the present perfect. So, uh, voy a repasar el present perfect con ustedes. Pero um, también se introduce el simple past. So, if you look here in section 5.8, I want to focus on this section here, which is the present perfect versus the simple past, okay? Now, yesterday, uh, vimos already and yet, how to use that, okay? Yes. Uh, did anybody do section 5.4? Alguien ya, ya terminó esa parte, ese knowledge check? Yes, I did. Okay, I, I, hagámoslo rapidito, creo que solo son cinco. 
preguntas. Eh, no, it's very no. easy. Yes. Okay, it's very easy. So let's do it number, number one. So here I have a question. Now remember, when I have a question, eh, solo para repasar. Um, so the present perfect, I do it with, eh, I need to have subject, okay? Uh, but this is for positives, positive statements, okay? Uh, let's say, I. let me give you the example first, and then I'll give you the structure. So the example is for, I have eaten sushi, okay? So what do you have? You have subject. Let me fix my internet. So I have subject plus half uh, or has, remember? And then I have the past participle plus the complement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the past participle is the verb, right? El verbo en el tercer tiempo, ¿verdad? Past participle, okay? So that is for positive statements. Okay, so that's for positive statements. What happens with negative statements? I haven't eaten sushi. Okay, this it's almost the same. You have subject plus half plus not. Okay. Uh, I, oh, y también en el caso de he, she, it, has. Plus past participle plus complement. And then we have questions, right? ¿Quién se acuerda de la pregunta? ¿Cómo, cómo, ¿Cuál es la clave de la pregunta? ¿Qué ponemos primero? The very half. Have, correct, el verbo auxiliar. Have you eaten sushi? Now, ayer vimos que le podemos poner unas palabras al final. Have you eaten sushi already? Okay. Yet. Yet. Mm -hmm. Y still, no me voy a meter a esa, solo quiero repasar acá. Um, pero si... Si no han visto eso, entonces pueden ver el video allí en YouTube sobre el uso de already, yet, and still. Okay. So, what is the, the question, I mean, the, the structure, la estructura? is have or has plus subject plus past participle plus complement. And then, question, right? Terminar con preguntas. So this is the positive, negative, and questions. Tienen que saber hacer esto. Y recuerden que se usa el past participle. Um, you don't have to memorize all the past participles. Yo, yo por veces se me olviden algunos. No me, no me los puedo todos. So I have to look at the, uh, a reference, right? Sometimes. Okay? But that's okay. All right. So number one, I have a question. So, and then I have you. So, which one am I going to use? Okay. Have you sang much exercise this week? No, right? No. Hay una clave. Aquí me está dando el verbo. Do. Pero me lo está dando en basic. So I have to do, I have to use the past participle. What is the past participle? Done, right? Oh. So the answer is, have you done much exercise this week? Okay. A question for you. ¿Han hecho ejercicio? ¿Qué están ahorita en la casa? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, a little bit. Oh, you okay? A little, a little. A little, okay. A little. <laughs> so, have you done 
much exercise this week? And then no. to answer, you can say, no, I haven't. No, have or, to. yes, I have. Okay. Number two, uh, Marco, maybe you can, you can do it. Help me out. Um, the number three, I have have been uh, have been okay yes i have already been to aerobic class four times yes very good b aquí se le olvidó una a in class se le olvidó aquí okay very good very good marco and that is correct that is the past participle of the verb b okay three a uh, let's see veronica help me out Okay, three. Um, mm -hmm. Have have you uh, played any sport this month? Played. Okay. Have you played? Yes. Okay. Very good. Yeah. In in este caso, play is, is base base verb. Played is the the uh, past simple so or simple past. Pero no hay un past participle. Entonces simplemente se usa el, base, el past. Okay, very good. Uh, number four. Nineveh, number four. Okay. Um, number uh, three. No, I haven't had the time. Okay, very good. No, I haven't. Had the time, yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Entonces, aquí, porque ya el simple present, ah, perdón, el, el present perfect, el que estamos estudiando, ya en sí, tiene el verbo have en sí. Entonces, voy a usar el had, que es el, el past participle de have. Okay? So, it's like, for example, I ask you, have you done exercise this week? And you say, no, I haven't had the time. Okay. Very good. Number five, how many movies have you are to this month or have you been to this month? Have you be to this month? No. Necesitamos el past participle, right? So what That's is the number two. number two? Yes. Okay. Teacher, but I have a, a question. I mm -hmm. don't understand the meaning of the of the of the question because say how how many movies have yeah. you been in is not no debe ser como what? No, aquí es tal vez está refiriendo a a uh, cuántas eh, teatros ha ido o, o movie theaters. How many movies ah. have you been to this month? So es como si ir al cine. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. How many movies have you been? Y aquí hay un to. Been to. Been uh -huh. to quiere decir que físicamente te moviste. So how many movies have you been to this month? Es como decir cuántos okay. cines, cuántas veces ha ido al cine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number six. Thank you. Actually, blank. I have any yet. So we need the past participle of C. Now. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the past participle, let's see, a uh, past participle of C. Y me dice que C es el base verb, simple past, saw. Sí. And past participle, seen. All right. Same. Actually, I 
haven't seen any yet. Mm -hmm. Now, quiero que noten algo. Aquí está yet, al final. Mm -hmm. sure. Yet is for negative. Mm -hmm. For example, I I, yeah, it's for negative. For example, I tell you, have you finished the platform? And you say, no, no. I haven't finished yet. Yet. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Number seven. Have, tenemos que empezar con have. Have you, what is the past participle of be? Been. Been. Have you been to any interesting parties recently? Es una conversación, ¿no? Aquí dices, be. No, I haven't. I haven't, right? ¿Cómo sé que es haven't? Because empieza la oración con un negativo, ¿no? Right? No, I haven't. Ah, oh, perdón, no es esta. It's I gone. haven't. What is the past participle of go? Gone. Gone. Ahí está. Okay, very good. This is a question. So I have to start with half. So I said una de estas. Then I have to use the past called. Have you called any friends today? Yes, I have. Already, I have already blank three calls. I have already, ¿cuál sería el past participle de make? Made. Made, right? Made. Very good. That's it. Finish. Okay. Now, uh, questions for that section? No. Okay. Recuerden que hicimos una speaking activity. And I told you, uh, find out a place that you have visited but the other person has not visited, ¿verdad? And for example, um, uh, digamos que yo estaba hablando con, con, con Marcos, eh, y Marco eh, me dice, yo nunca he ido a Costa Rica, y yo sí he ido a Costa Rica. Have you been to Costa Rica? And Marco says, no, I haven't. Okay. Um, pueden ser otras cosas, for example, have you seen Titanic, the movie? Yes, I have. Have you been to the Pital? Oh, El Pital. Have you been to Costa del Sol? Okay. And he says, yes, I have. No, I haven't. Okay. So, quiero que practiquemos eso, five minutes. Okay. Let's practice that speaking. Okay, you can answer, ask the question. So, entonces van a empezar con have. Have you been? Have you visited? Have you gone to? Okay. And then the other person is going to answer, yes, I have. No, I haven't. All right, let's go to uh, breakout rooms. Let's go to rooms. And let's practice. I want you to practice this present perfect. William, acepte la invitación. William, acepte la invitación para ir al grupo. Acepte la invitación para ir al grupo. No me ha caído porque me está fallando ahorita. Eh, hijo, pero no te, puedo, no, te la, no te puedo mover, fíjate. Te tengo que mandar a otro grupo. Y el problema es que... Mmm, el problema es que no te puedo mover. Déjame ver. 
porque Verónica está en el número 2 y solo tengo la opción de moverte al 1, pero eso de, vas a dejar a Verónica sola. Disculpe que William no le no aceptó la invitación y no, no pudo ingresar aquí al, al grupo con usted. Voy a claro, ver si okay. permítame, voy a ver si se lo puedo. Pasa mi stay porque le di room two. Ah, no, él, él falta. Él tenía que venir aquí el room uh, room one. No, en uh, room two. Uh -huh. Pero es que no lo, solo lo puedo mover al... Ah, ya sé lo que voy a hacer. Ok. Sí, ya pensaba salirme. Déjeme ver. Eh, William, ¿te cayó la invitación? No, teacher. Aquí estamos esperando. Mm. Quizás como tengo problemas de conexión, por eso no había ingresado estos días. Ok, William, mira. Te voy a, te voy a mandar una al grupo 1. No, no acepté esa sino que aceptarla del grupo 2, ¿ok? Bueno. Aceptar la invitación que dice ir a grupo número 2. Ok, bueno, Verónica, ¿nos puedes escuchar? Yes. Ok, William, Verónica, ok, están conectados aquí. Eh, okay. Ahorita no están en ningún, eh, ningún cuarto, ningún grupo, pero este, pueden, pueden hablar aquí, que esta es la, como la, la página. Ok. Que, ok, dele. Ah, ok, ok. Eh, William, have you uh, done exercise this week? No. Ahorita estoy ensayando. Nah, come on, William. Come on, you can do it. How do you answer? Tell me, teacher. Uh, can you repeat the question, please, Veronica? Okay. Uh, William, uh, have you done exercise this week? English, 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 William. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Ah, ¿qué pasa, William? ¿Qué pasa? <laughs> Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Okay. Now, ¿sabes cómo hacer preguntas, William, con el present perfect? No me ha quedado muy claro como ¿no? ha estado mm, todo. Ok. Entonces, este, no, no, ¿por qué no me preguntaste cuando estaba dando la lección? Como le dije, como ha estado fuera, porque el problema de este año. Sí, sí, pero ahorita sí. cuando estaba dando la lección, ahorita, ahorita mismo, hace cinco minutos, me hubiera preguntado. Ok. Sí, me sacó de ese sistema y volví a entrar. Ok, William, yo sé que no ha llegado a la sección 5, ¿verdad? pero vas a llegar allí. Entonces, yo quiero que tú puedas entender esa, lo que es el present perfect, porque te van a hacer preguntas ahí de eso. Y también en el examen final. ¿Ok? Verónica, let's practice me and you. ¿Ok? We're going to use the present perfect. We're going to use have. ¿Ok? Verónica. Have you visited Guatemala? Uh, yes, uh, yes, 
I have already. Yes, I have already. Yes, I have already. Okay. Have you gone to Zoológico Aurora in Guatemala? Yes, I have. Okay, Pero, very good. Uh -huh. uh, uh, the, the answer is yes, I have. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, okay. Uh, solamente ahí, yes, I have. Respuesta, short answer, short answer. Okay, now ask short me answer. questions. Okay. Ask me questions. Okay. Have you have you worked uh, these days in weekend? No, I haven't. Uh, no, no it's fast, I but... haven't. No, I haven't worked. Okay. okay another question. Um. Another. Okay. Have you? Done, I don't clean a mountain. Have a, ah, yes. Have I done mountain climbing? Says mountain climbing. Yes, I have. Mountain climbing. Yes, I have. I have been to El Pital and I have climbed oh. the mountain. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. very good. Okay. I have a question. I have a question for you. Okay. Um, okay. We're going to use saw. No, a eh, have you seen seen? Verdad? Which is the past participle of see. See saw seen. Okay. okay. Have you seen? Okay. The movie Gladiator. Gladiator. Mm -hmm. No, I. No. Okay, okay. Have you seen the movie Training Day with Denzel Washington? Ah, uh, yes, I have. It's okay. a good movie. Okay, now okay. I want you to ask me about movies like that. Okay, about Okay. Have you seen? A scar, a scary movie, a, a red, I don't know, say, um, Annabelle? No, I haven't. I don't like scary movies. Not, it's not my favorite, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Another, another movie. Tell me. Okay, another movie. Um, have you seen, uh, have you seen? No movie. Ah, the no. Have you seen the that movie? Yes, yes, I have. Okay, William, okay. do you understand the questions? ¿Cómo hacer preguntas con el simple present? No, perdón, el present perfect. Uso have y uso el past participle. Have you seen? Okay, I want you to practice, William. Uh, I'm going to give you two, three minutes so that you can practice with Veronica. Ask her about movies. Have you seen Titanic? Have you seen a uh, otra película? Ah, have you seen Scarface movie? Cara cortada. Nunca viste esa movie? Oh, Scarface. Think. Have you seen mm -hmm. Avengers? Yeah. Have you seen a uh, what's another good movie? Have you seen a uh, the Thor movie? Okay. Uh, with Avengers. Have you seen a movie by Will Smith? Yes. Have you seen a movie by Will Smith? No, for example, Bad Boys. Uh, what's another good movie with Will Smith? The Black. Pursuit. Black Men in Black. Black. Men in Black. Yes. Okay. So William, go. I'm going to give you a chance to speak to her. Okay. Ask ask her questions. Okay, William. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very di yeah. different. Um, how have you been at the beach in the last month? 
Mm, yes, I visit uh, La Libertad. Okay. Uh, who do, what is the name, the place? El Faro, donde está el Faro, se me olvida. Por el Tunco, pero tiene otro nombre. Mm. <laughs> Los faraones. Eh, no, no do, where, right? donde estaba el puerto, pero que... Malecón. Ah, ok, ok. Entre Malecón, and they have a, a, many, a many little restaurants, and it's very, very cheap. <laughs> and okay. I like. Okay, very good. I have a, a, a practice that you can do. You can say, have you seen? And then mm -hmm. put a name of a movie. For example, have you seen Titanic? Titanic 2. Mm -hmm. Have you seen <laughs> Have you seen a movie by Will Smith? No. Okay. So, practice with have you seen and then pónganle el título de alguna película. Have you seen? Okay. And then uh. Uh, Carlos, uh, I need to go. Hmm? You have to go, Marco? Uh, okay, I, I need one minute, okay? Okay. No <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Okay. Okay, DJ. Nine, How did you sing? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> How did you see uh, Zelda 7 mm. by name, please? No, no, I haven't. <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't seen that. Have you seen, um, have you seen Betty La Fea in Netflix? Yes, I have, but don't seen in, in Netflix. Mm -hmm. I've seen 10 years ago. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Um, have you I'm have apologize. Uh, yes. Carlos, uh, I'm uh -huh. sorry, I'm apologize, but I, I need to leave the session. Uh, I have an emergency right now. Okay? okay, no problem, Marco. Okay, no problem, sir. All right, okay. take care. Okay. Okay, uh, Nineveh. You can say, uh, have you seen, ah, I have a, a question for you. Have you gone to Guatemala? Mm, no. Okay. No, I, I haven't. <laughs> okay, very good. All right. All right, let's go back. Let's go back now, and I want to do the next lesson. Okay. Okay. Okay, very, very good. Excellent. So we were practicing, right? We were saying, uh, have you seen a uh, Men in Black? Have you seen Titanic? Have you seen uh, The Lion King? Fast and Furious. Have Fast you seen and Fast and the Furious? And then how do you answer in the present perfect? Yes, I haven't seen. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. No, I have. No, I haven't. Okay. Now, allí en ese no, al final pueden usar yet. No, I haven't seen it yet. Mm. Ah, no, I haven't seen. Yes, it's negative. Yet is for negative. So you say no, I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Very good. So. I want to share my computer with you because um, hay una lección que tenemos que, que ver. So, eh, this is the present perfect. ¿Cómo se llama? Present perfect. Present perfect. Okay. Now, ¿por qué se llama present perfect? Why do you think it's the present perfect? Because present perfect La palabra perfect en este contexto significa complete. Okay. Una acción que comenzó en el pasado y terminó en el pasado. ¿Ya? Yeah. 
So that's why, for example, if you look here, I have eaten sushi. Es decir, que en el pasado empecé a comer sushi y terminé de comer sushi. <laughs> right? Es una acción completa. Por eso se llama perfect. En este contexto, la palabra perfect significa completo. Okay, so, now, in the lesson, los que ya eh, van por las cinco días por ahí, creo que es cinco ocho, que tienen una lección de cómo se compara el present perfect con el simple past. And how to use it. Cuando se usa. Cada quien. Okay. So I want to show you uh, the video. No sé si ya lo vieron. Right. This one. 5.8. I want to show you the video. And then we're going to do some examples. And then we're going to practice. Porque quiero que, que manejen los dos. El simple present. El, perdón, el, sí, el simple past y el present perfect. ¿Cómo se usan ya hablando? Hello to all. In this lesson, we will learn when to use present perfect versus simple past. What we are about to watch is question form in present perfect. Notice the way to answer. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Okay. Very good. So. There's something there that you ever had see. green curry. Uh, this is important. Here it tells you use the present perfect for indefinite times. Es decir, algún tiempo en el pasado, pero no sé exactamente cuándo. Solo sé que fue en el pasado y que fue una acción completa. Okay. Now use the simple past for specific event in the past, okay? So, present perfect, indefinite time. Decir que fue en algún momento. Simple past for a specific event in the past. So, how can I do that, right? Let's take a question here. Let's, let's do a, a conversation. Let me erase this. Okay, so I'm going to do a simple conversation, right? Y esto eh, lo, lo, lo tomé de alguien, una conversación que estaban haciendo aquí en, en, en grupos. So, somebody said, have you been to the beach lately? Eh, have you been to the beach? Voy a poner este año, this year, right? Y yo creo que ya no se va a poder ir a la playa <laughs> por un tiempo. Have you been to the beach this year? So, what is this? Present perfect. Right? Ya vimos el have, el past participle. So, tengo have and been. Past participle, ¿verdad? Ya tengo todos los elementos del present perfect. Okay. Now, la persona va a responder y va a decir, uh, yes, I visited la libertad eh, in eh, December. Okay. Ah, no, no, December está el año pasado. January. Okay. Yes. I visited La Libertad Beach in January. Okay. Here, puedo decir The Libertad Beach if I want to speak in English. Yes, I visited 
the Libertad Beach in January. Do you see here, I visited. This is simple past. Okay. Now, do you see here, eh, la, el video nos enseñó el simple past para eventos en el pasado específicos. So, do you see here, I have specific event. A specific event in the past. Okay. So, para hablar de evento específico, es mejor usar el simple past. Yes, I went. For example, vamos a hacer otro ejemplo. Antes que, que me adelante. For example, algunos les pregunté, Have you been to Guatemala? Y algunos me dijeron, Yes, I went last year in, mm, fui en agosto, para vacaciones de agosto, August. Okay. Have you been to Guatemala? Yes, I went last year. Entonces, este es simple past, porque me está hablando de un tiempo específico. Okay. So, lo que les le quiero decir es que cuando hablen de un tiempo específico, es mejor usar el simple past. I went to Guatemala last year in August. I went, have you seen a Titanic movie? Yes, I saw it 10 years ago. Right? Uh -huh. eh, entonces le pueden preguntar a uno en present perfect, pero uno puede contestar en simple past. Sí, exacto. Okay. ¿Y, y, ¿Y qué va a terminar eso? ¿Qué, ¿Qué va a determinar eso? Lo que lo va a determinar es que si yo quiero hablar de un, un tiempo específico en el pasado. Okay. Okay. Algunas le pregunté, a Nineveh le pregunté, ¿Have you seen Betty la Fea en Netflix? Porque la tienen ahí en la serie Netflix, ahorita. And she says, eh, yes, but I saw it many years ago in the television. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, entonces ella me está hablando de hace muchos años atrás, o hace 10 años atrás, o lo que sea. And she's, she used simple past. ¿Ve? Tú lo hiciste en Nineveh y tú no sabías porque tú lo estabas haciendo naturalmente. I said, have you, have you seen Betty La Fea in Netflix? And she says, eh, yes, but I saw it many years ago. Ah, ¿ve? entonces ella me respondió en el simple past. Okay. So, why don't you practice that? Okay. Let's see. Eh, Verónica, hacenos una pregunta en el simple past. Eh, perdón, el, el present perfect con have you... Así como veníamos practicando, como practicaste con William, hacernos una pregunta así y nosotros vamos a responder en el simple past. ¿Ok? So, yo la voy a escribir aquí. Ok. Have you been, been to a party this month? No, this year. Ok. Have you been to a party this year? ¿Quién quiere responder? Uh -huh. Nineve. Yes, I. Yes, I have. I, I, I have a party in January. Okay. Ah, entonces ahí, simple past. Uh, but, but, um, uh, what, what is the simple past of go? I went. Yes, I went. Yes, I, I went a uh, party in January. Very good. Ahí está. Very good. Okay, uh, Bene, Carlos, teacher. Okay, let's see. I want, I, I'm going to answer the question. Todo vamos a responder. Uh, have you been to a party this year? Uh, yes, I went to a, a birthday party. 
I went to a birthday party in January. Okay, very good. And William, do you want to give us an answer? Puedes, yo sé que puedes. William, are you there? Hi, you have seen uh, why uh, Quiero que, uh, quiero que respondas esta pregunta que nos hizo Verónica. Verónica nos preguntó. Uh, Have you been to a party this year? Respuesta diferente. Aquí está la, la pregunta de Verónica, mira. No. No. I haven't. No. Puedes decir I haven't? I haven't. Okay, very good. En el caso no, de no, no, simplemente no. All right, very good. Okay, Nineveh, ask us a question. With have you... Have you... See... The movie... Loyo? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> No, decimos una, una, pero que sea como... Una, ok. Uh, yes, I, 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 I saw the movie ah, last okay. week. <laughs> yes. ah, ok, have you seen the it's movie? A, a strange movie, but it's very good. Yes, it's, it's like a... Uh, ¿Cómo uh -huh. se llama? Los, hoy, los hoyos. El hoyo. El, El hoyo. hoyo. It's a Spanish movie in Spain. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, so question, right? And then Veronica yeah. said, what did you say, Veronica? Yes, I saw uh, it. Yes, I saw last week. Yes, I saw it. Ahí está. Yeah. So la respuesta de Veronica está en el simple past. ¿Verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque es más fácil hablar en el simple past y referirnos a un punto específico en el pasado. Ok, let me see. Uh, me. Uh, I have never heard of that movie. Ok. But Now you we... have to use... Ah, yeah, use perfect. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí. Perfect. Uh -huh. perfect. Si voy a decir como... Si voy a hablar en el negativo... You can say, no, I haven't. Right? Or, I have never heard of it. Okay. Uh -huh. Or, maybe, ¿se acuerdan yet? No, I haven't. Uh -huh. I haven't seen it yet. 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 Todavía no, aún no. I haven't seen oh. it yet. Okay. William, have you seen that movie? El Hoyo? <laughs> Have you seen the movie, El Hoyo? No, I haven't. Okay. Okay, very good. All right, very good. Ahí está. Nunca le he escuchado. That's what Netflix. I... It's on Netflix. Or ah, in... uh, it's yeah. on, on. On Netflix. 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 Okay. Very good. So you see, pueden hacerlo. Yeah, you can do. Ya pueden hacer pre, eh, positive statements in the el present perfect. Pueden hacer ustedes positive statements, negative statements, and questions. Okay? And then you can answer in the simple past. So, regresando al... al yes, la, I have. Perdón. I tried it several years. Regresando al, al, al video que vieron, porque hay otro ejercicio de estos. Have you ever eaten Morocco food? Yes, I have. Okay, y aquí viene el simple past. I ate it once in Paris. Do you see? Do you see the simple past? Respondieron en el simple past. Aquí está, mira. Ahí está. Yes, I ate it once, one time in Paris. So, está hablando de un evento específico, un, un tiempo específico. Have you ever eaten mor Moroccan food? No, I haven't. I have never eaten it. Do you see? 
¿Por qué se queda aquí en el, 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 en el eh, present perfect? Porque es negativo. This is negative. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Mm -hmm. eh, another, another example here. Have you ever had green curry? Do you know what, perdón, do you know what green curry is? Yo tampoco no sé qué. No. Green curry. <laughs> Google. Ahí está, mira. I don't know. Green curry. It looks good. Uh, I don't know. No sé qué tiene. No. <laughs> Let's see. Como un condimento. <laughs> it's like soup. Uh -huh, so like that. No, I ah. think it's a, a wish. A was no. no, it says, look, place viene de Tailandia. A place? Thailand. Uh -huh. I don't know. Okay. So if you go back it's here, Zeta. have you eh, tú la has comido, Verónica? Eso antes? No, no, I haven't. No? Okay. I have never had it. Okay. Have you ever had green curry? Aquí hay una, un ejemplo. Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. Ah, okay. So, aquí está hablando en el simple past. Have you, had, have you had green curry? No, I have it. I have never had it. So, aquí se queda en el present perfect. Do you see? Y prácticamente eso es lo que le está diciendo el video. Use the present perfect for indefinite times in the past. Use the simple past for specific events in the past. Okay? Now, ¿Por qué me quedo aquí bastante? Es porque eh, prácticamente es la base de lo que viene. Después. Here's a go. Perdón. No. Es la, la base de las preguntas que vienen eh, en este 5.10. No, perdón, sí, 5.8. Eh, uh -huh. Aquí en el 5.4 hay preguntas sobre el present perfect. Aquí en el knowledge check 5.9. Uh, you have this, for example, right? It says, okay. have you ever blank in a karaoke bar? Have you ever seen what is the past participle? Yo creo que son. Have you seen? Si no me equivoco. Y aquí la persona va a responder. You think it's one? Let me see. So, no, but no, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Solo ponerle en Google. Past participle. Uh, ah, song. yes. Uh, sang and sung. Okay, very good. Okay. Sung is the past participle, he said. Okay. So, ahí pueden salir de duda. Yo siempre uso Google y le pregunto a Google. So, this, is, this question is in present perfect. Now, the answer... La, pre, la respuesta va a venir en el simple past. Okay. So, prácticamente es la, lo que hicieron, eh, lo que hicimos ahorita. So, I have a question. I want you to answer in the simple past. Okay? Eh, let's see. So, you have to answer in the simple past. Y voy a tratar de hacer lo posible para que la respuesta sea en positivo. La, have, have you, perdón, have you visited a, el pital? Yes, Verónica? Eh, you're on mute, ahí está. Ah, yes, yes. Eh, yes, uh, I visited once time years ago, many years ago. Yes, I visited. Okay, very good. So, Many years. do you see? I got tu respuesta. Yes, I have. I visited one time. So, en vez de decir one time, puedes decir esto. I visited once. Mm -hmm. I visited once. I visited once many years ago. Okay. Nineve, have you visited okay. Pital? ¿Has ido al pital? No, I haven't. Ok. 
Let me see. Entonces, te tengo que dar... No, I tiempo. haven't. Okay. <laughs> have you... Have you gone to... Uh, let's see. Uh, a famous place here in El Salvador. Have you gone to... Um, let's see. Un lugar así como un poquito raro. Have you gone to... <laughs> Mm. Costa del Sol. Ataco. Oh, yeah, yeah. Costa del Sol. Have you gone to? Beach. Costa del Sol. Yes? Yes. I... Yes, I went. I visit uh, last year. <laughs> okay. I went last year. Very good. Do you see? Me responden el present perfect. En realidad no es el present perfect, sino que simplemente es en positivo. But this is simple past. Con un tiempo específico. Okay. Uh, William, do you have any questions? Do you understand? ¿Has estado ahí? ¿Escuchando? Yes, teacher. Okay. Very good. So, William. Aquí tengo la pregunta en el simple present, perdón, simple present perfect, y mi respuesta con tiempo específico en el simple past. Okay. So, remember that. Eh, el, el present perfect va a ser necesario para casi toda la sección 5, y el simple past va a ser necesario para esta sección, que es la 5.9. ¿Alguien ya la hizo? Nineve, did you do it? Sí. Yeah, Okay. Yes. Um, Veronica? Yes, I do. Ya le hiciste. Okay. All right, look. So, uh, if you have any other questions, okay, terminen si pueden ahora en la plataforma entre ahora y mañana y le queda un mm. día para hacer el examen. <laughs> ¿Verdad? Bueno, el jueves <laughs> y viernes. Le quedan dos días para hacer el examen. Okay, el examen final. Okay, very good. So, that's it. Ok. Eh, eh, solo, solo, solo quiero decirles que pues eh, gracias por, porque veo que ustedes tienen mucho, mucho interés. Los tres aquí y hay muchos otros que tienen ese interés en seguir estudiando. Entonces eso es buenísimo. Okay. Eh, ¿Cómo está la situación ahorita en todo el mundo? ¿Cómo se, cómo se ven los pronósticos? Es que, es que el, este va a ser el nuevo método de aprendizaje del sí, idioma. Yes. Esto, esto yo les digo porque pues, yo también pues, tengo contacto con otras academias y ellos quisieran estar haciendo lo que estamos haciendo ahorita nosotros. Y no están ahí todavía muchas. Exacto. <risa> Exacto. Pero lo que le quiero decir es porque esto va para largo. Entonces, eh, este es el nuevo método. Y, y en realidad este, nos, ahorra, nos va a ahorrar dinero tiempo, no nos tenemos que estar moviéndonos, ir a una academia, ir al, ¿verdad? Eh, no tenemos que movernos, estamos acá, y en realidad están usando la tecnología, de que eso se trata, ¿verdad? Ya sí. ahora no pueden, no pueden eh, separar el, el inglés y la tecnología, ahora tienen que estar todos juntos, ¿verdad? So, lo felicito por, <laughs> por hacer ese trabajo. Okay, very good. So, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. All right, very good. Have a good night. Bye. Good night, sir. Okay, good.